Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the homepage content. If you look at our demo website, see that uh, the homepage has different parts or sections. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add all these parts or sections or modules in our home page. So let's go back to our website which we are creating. We go to the bucket and to do this, remember we are using SP Page Builder to create our our pages. So we go to components, and then you go to SP Page Builder, and then you go to pages. There you go, and here is our home page. So we open our home page. So in our previous video, we added a Joomla module, which added the our slider in our home page. So the next step, I want to add this uh, text, welcome text message. So what you do is you add a new row, a full row, like that, and then you add a text add-on, add a text block, add-on, there you go, and then the title, you add the title, you add the title, these are the elements, just add the title, and then you add the paragraph. Good thing with Joomla, it has added us a basic uh, text that we can start with. Uh, uh, let maybe do the arrangement. Center, in the alignment center. That all you need to do for now, and then you say apply. Once you say apply, you you save, you save, and then uh, let us check how it has come up. There you are. Welcome to Elgits, and it has dead the, the the basic text. Now let us add now the 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 button let us now add the button read more so that when maybe it's a welcome message you can click read more uh, button to read more about uh, uh, the introduction part which normally is about your website anything about and normally the read more button when one click read more button it will actually direct you to who we uh, click read more, direct who we are, or whatever you have named it, maybe about us. So let's go ahead and now create the read more button. So to add the button, you go ahead and add the button at the same low. Remember this low we have created? So we want to add the button at the same low. So you go ahead and uh, in the same row, you add um, uh, an add-on. In the same row, you add an add-on. And this time is we want to add a button. And here, this is a button. This is a button. And then you add the button uh, 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 settings. And here, the button text we want to read uh, read more uh, the alignment on the right side then the right side and uh, for now let us give uh, no link at the moment and uh, it's open on the same window 
and let give a primary flat it is let's make it large for the shape make it loaded round full width no uh, icon uh, we have this type of icon here so here you are and the icon uh, position is on the left side it on the right side there you go the style maybe the style uh, text imagine that uh, give it a uh, 20px now and uh, you need to add Uh, maybe let uh, the hover color let add this one here the hover color there you go let's say we apply and then we save let's see how it goes there you go does not look same as ours we are going to to change we are going to change remember even the font you can see the font is different so this is the last thing we are going to do so don't worry about the font about the car we are going to to change all that so let's go ahead and uh, now create this part it's called uh, features uh, uh, module or items let's go ahead and create this one features item um, so we add these images and the text and the read more text so let's go ahead and do that now to add the feature box uh, as you can see here so this is another row so another row so don't worry about the appearance for now, about the font, about the color. We are going to do that when we finish our website. So don't worry about all that. Um, so let's go ahead and add this. So the same time, so this is we add another row. Full. Uh, this time it will be with the uh, three columns hello with three columns remember we have three of them but you need to do some changes here you can see here the background is different so here we go here no options and change uh, some settings in the style and um, so the padding let us remain 50, 50 because uh, it's very big to accommodate the feature boxes that is okay for the background color let add this one there you go I have the background color Bus, there we go. Then we apply and then we save. And then now let's start building our first one, which is who we are. Who we are. So here we go. And uh, click add on. And this time you add a feature box. A feature box. So here you add the uh, to, add, uh, to add the feature box you click new add-on then uh, the feature box and here now you add the settings so for our title so this is the one we want to create who we are who we are so the title is who we are then um,
So for the icon type, we put image because we want to add an image. We want to add an image. So for now, let us uh, broker. Um, U and L feature box we are going to add this image choose your image uh, browse the folders you can create a new one and call it uh, features where we are going to put those images and then uh, you can drag or upload the files so we already have the the file with me let me get it uh, images and the file we are talking about is this one. Yeah, sure. Set. That is the image we have inserted. The image. So this content, you add the content you want. Let us remain this with the automatic content for now. So, but here you can add your own content. You can add your own content. Then you have the button. Read more. Now it put uh, nothing. If a custom and uh, front, default button. Icon let have a uh, a book. Let have a book. To be on left, and let us apply and save. Let's see how it appears. There you are. Nice. Let's add the others. Remember, don't worry about um, the font and the color. We are going to change this when you finalize everything. We're going to change this when you finalize everything. So instead of now creating another one, we can uh, clone this one and just drag this there and then clone this one and then drag that there and then you now you you edit you edit click here to edit so you have to edit the the first one here is what we do instead of who we are what we do and the other item we need to change is the image need to change the image this is the image and uh, choose your image uh, browse the folders we are in the features folders this is where we want to store our features images and then uh, let us upload uh, an image
don't worry i'm going to give you all these images so that you can use it in your demonstration website there you are let us also add the other one so that we don't have to go the same route again so we just need to put so this is the image you can see here there is that there you are and all that you need to do that's all we need to do as uh, or for the who we are we need to change the the icon the button icon make it this a coke this one here Okay, and then we make sure we save the changes. There you are. See there. And then we do the final one. Uh, where we work. Where we work. And then we need to change the image. There you go, insert. Then apply. Sorry, you have missed the icon, the home icon. You need to edit that. Yeah, the icon we need to have home icon, then we apply. And then you say quick save. Let's see how it goes. There you are. See, our website is coming all along very well. As for now, you can see in terms of the font and in terms of colors, the website we are creating does not look as our demo website. So what I'm saying, please don't worry. When we finalize everything, we are going now to work on the fonts the topography that is the the headings the text the subheading and the colors of our website so there you go we have created this and the next video we are going to continue creating the other section in the home page please like this video and if you have a comment or if you have a question please comment in this video i'm going to get back to you if you are new here please subscribe and uh, also i urge you to like this video because it make a huge difference i will see you in the next video thank you